What's up everyone and welcome to a very casual unboxing with my dad. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How you doing? His name is Hans and uh, we're here to unbox three new uh, solar guitars. And this is a little bit random because I actually never do it like this, but these are basically three guitars that I forgot to take pictures of. But we have them in stock, so I need to unpack them, take pictures and upload it to the website so we can actually sell them because now, right now they're just in stock oh, yeah. and uh, just waiting to have a product page. There's one guitar that I thought that my dad would appreciate the finish on. So that's why I have him here. Okay, yeah. So it's that's gonna be exciting. All of these are G types, which is, uh, you know, the single cut. You guys don't know this, but my dad has been in the music industry for his whole life. And he's a guitar collector, or you were more of a guitar collector before. Yes. Tell us uh, what you did. What was your job? Well, I worked in the record business um, for some 35, 40 years uh, when there was a record business. Exactly. And um, quit at the millennium. Yes, um, exactly before Napster yes. came around. <laughs> and basically it was the death yeah, of uh, well, some yes, record companies. Well, at least a lot of things changed. So yes. Before then we used to sell records. Yeah, exactly. CDs or, or even vinyl records. Oh. And it was sort of, it was blooming. Yeah. I bought a lot of CDs yeah. back in the day, but I just people just don't do that anymore. No, but, but it, it came about uh, the time when the vinyl sales were going down and then yes. all of a sudden there was a new format. You yeah. had to buy all your old favorite records of yes. CD again. And exactly. So that gave a real boost to the record industry. Yeah. Now it's funny how you work, were working for record companies and now I fight record companies. Or like I'm, I'm against that sort of uh, approach to albums and music. Yeah. Worth mention is that this was, well, end of the 90s, so I wasn't really in a band. I never asked my dad for a record deal or anything like that, no. or I never asked for your help. But I brought you a couple of Pantera yes. records. Yes, he brought me Pantera records. The, that was the good life. Yeah, I mean, we had those labels, Atlantic and uh, Warner. And, uh, so I had like Dream Theater albums and the new Pantera album for like one or two weeks before release. It was, it was good. All right, so let's open up the first one. I have them in order here. This is a real first for me. I never bought any guitar in a box. No, that's right. My my dad uh, was a collector of vintage guitars, and we we were on a couple of uh, you've done a couple of shows, yes. like vintage guitar shows, selling and buying guitars. I was there helping out, okay. and um, yeah, I mean buying guitars on the internet was not really your thing back no, in your day. I, I guess. never thought that would work. No, I always wanted to try guitars. Yeah. I know. It's not the same anymore. Okay. This is how, how it looks when you open a solar guitar, by the way. You get a double carton. So uh, I know a lot of people are uh, a little uh, worried about how they ship the guitars all over the world, but this double carton is really helping. And uh, so far, knock on wood, we haven't had, you know, that's, we've had a couple where basically like a guitar was broken in half, but still one out of thousands, which is nothing basically. So uh, this is how it comes, like this. Some uh, comes in gate bags, but this is, uh, what is this? This is the GC2.6 TBR. And this is the first time I've seen this in person. So, oh, hang on, no, this is uh, one. Okay, now. Oh, GC2.6 Trans Black, oh shit, okay. Oh, there you go. I thought this was a red guitar, but <laughs> it's a Trans Black. Uh, so it's trans. I think it's Swamp Ash. Very nice finish. Um, yeah, and it's uh, like a look through trans black finish, and uh, almost not in tune. So you still have the the. There's a black binding, even if you barely can see it. But uh, so split. You can split the humbucker so it sounds more like a single coil, and, and uh, yeah, that's nice. Is it heavy? Oh, you can feel it. No, it's not. It's not too bad. It's much lighter than it was before. Yes, yes. Well, it's a lot thinner, that's for sure. Yeah. So I was ready for another guitar. <laughs> but, yeah. Now this, this, I think I know. This is a GC 1.6 C. C is for charcoal, yeah. by the way. And I think this is supposed to have an Evertune bridge on it. So it might be in tune. So it's probably in tune, yeah. Exactly. 
And this is more like the classic white binding. Single cut. GC 1.6. And this is here. This is a little heavier because it has the Evertune yeah. bridge there. Yes. Is it that heavy? The yeah, it is really heavy. I mean, it's not only this part, it's the back as well. Oh shit. When my dad starts playing, you, you have to amp it up. He's an incredible guitar player. You played in a, a ton of bands too and helped out on a lot of records. Yeah, a while back. <laughs> a while back. <laughs> Oh, you can't, that's the thing, you cannot tune it like that. You got a very good feel. Yeah, it's a good feel on that one, yeah. But this is more expensive, I said. Yeah. Yes, yes, obviously, this is, two, this is a 2.6, which has a little bit uh, less features or less expensive features, while the 1.6 has stainless steel frets, mm -hmm. these are nickel frets, and also has locking tuners, it has the Evertune bridge, uh, lumen lay, uh, side dots, mm -hmm. and just more, some more exclusive features, but build-wise they're the same, they're built the same way, so they both have the same feel when you play them. Now it's a little classic look, I mean it's, it's not authentic, <laughs> like Gibson, but uh, I wanted to make something different that's not a complete rip-off of a signal cut. And uh, you know, even just having the headstock, uh, that's not going to work. No, no. <laughs> the average you, you tune it at the bridge. Yeah. So what happens here is that you you set the tension about right or Sorry. so you set it just okay. just below. It where it goes sharp. And if you have to tune it, you, have, you tune it at the bridge here. Mm -hmm. So with, with what the yeah, exactly. So you, you get in the box, you get an, uh, an Evertune key. That's what you call it. That's that one. Uh, let's put that here. And now this last one. The reason why I wanted to have this finish was uh, actually because of one of your guitars that you had. Uh, you know, the classic 59 Gibson Les Paul, you know, authentic. Um, you know, that, that look has always been one of my favorite ones. He even has the, the 59 on the phone here as a background. <laughs> That's an expensive guitar today. Yes, I know. <laughs> That's, I'm why I don't have it anymore. Yes. What's your pension? <laughs> I guess. Well, yeah. But uh, yeah, so obviously that really stuck to me. I think that's one of the most beautiful Les Pauls out there, the 59. And that's sort of what, what I wanted to do with this. I mean, obviously I don't have the same hardware and the lead that's available, but... And also the headstock was yeah. black. It's not on this one. Oh. Huh? Cool, huh? Very nice. So it's uh, the G1.6 FSB, if I'm not completely mistaken, which has a mahogany back, yes. as you can see, and uh, an amber burst uh, really top right there, maple top. This is, this is more like a tribute, almost. I'm not sure if it's gonna sell. I just wanted to make one because it's, yeah. I might, might even buy one. Hey, with the pickup slip. Like the Les Pauls. Yeah, exactly. It's still, the, it's still the Duncan Solar pickups, but it's... Uh, I'll remove this. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a... Uh, since we have a single cut, I wanted to have this yeah, and make this. That's the... And I, I knew you would like it. Yeah. That's sort of like why I made it. <laughs> But I think people will appreciate the looks. Yes. Uh, play authentic, by the way. It would look great. Please don't sue me, Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is okay. There's nothing really to sue me on. I have the headstock and all that. I'm amazed that they can make these nice patterns. Of yes. The burst. Very few of the 59s get to that. I mean, it was, it was hard back in the day, but it's still sort of hard to get a really good figured maple top. I mean, woods are getting more and more rare. And, so uh, maybe one piece could be... No, 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 I think this is, uh, this is a set oh, pick. Oh, yeah. so you see oh, here, there's yes. three pieces. Oh. Have you always played with a thumb pick? Uh, most of the time, yes. Yeah. But you can't play everything with it. No.
That's sick. <laughs> That's so far away from my play. <laughs> so that gets worse than the Beatles. Yes. And I remember a good story. 1994. Yes. We were in the Nashville. You dragged me <laughs> with you to a, a Chad Atkins fair. Or yeah, it was the fan club meeting. Uh, they had one every every summer, and um, he actually played. He was still alive. Though. Yes, he exactly. On the Saturday, and and I had brought <coughs> the pick art from my Gertz country. Yes, and, exactly. And I was standing in line with all the autograph yeah, yeah. <laughs> collectors, <laughs> and uh, I asked for the, the autograph. Yeah. That, and he, he looked a bit surprised because I know he'd switched to Gibson then. Oh I yeah, that's said, right. I'm from Sweden. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, that's okay. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. I remember I just started playing guitar back then, so I wasn't really that interested. I was no. more interested about skateboards, so yes, you took yes. me to skateboard stores. That's right. That's yeah. what a that's good what dad does. Better. <laughs> exactly. What do you think about this guitar? It's fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. It would look good on a guitar show, I think. I think yeah. so too. This is more like an you know, would bring people to the, yeah. to the table, then maybe people would buy the black one still. Yeah. But uh, I'm not sure how the metal guys... Um, I think they, they, I think it, they will play this. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing myself play this, if that's okay with the, the Haunted, mm. but it's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all these guitars will be available uh, at the release of this video. Uh, then I've taken pictures of it and uh, I, they're already in stock, so we ship, ship now within 48 hours. Oh. And that's what's good about having your own brand. You can yeah. just release news all the time. But it has been working quite well. Oh, it's been yeah. great. Well, I'm not complaining. I just started uh, with finger picking, so I'm not really... For the clean sound. Oh yeah. I just uh, skip the cleans when I try out amplifiers. <laughs> Nice had black headstocks, uh -huh. I remember. Didn't they? Yeah, then yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, that is the crunch. Never sound like that when I <laughs> Exactly. Well, it's still chugs, yeah. which is good. It's still the same Dark and Solar pickups like in the other guitars. So yeah, that was my uh, short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as I said earlier, these guitars are available to ship within 48 hours from Solar Guitars website. Uh, with a box, obviously. Back in the day, you didn't really buy in boxes. You bought them from a store. Yeah. Time, times have changed. Yes, they do. For the good, I think. <laughs> good for me, at least. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, bye.